urgent search for a missing mother. The Pennsylvania woman was due to pick up her son at a bus stop on Wednesday, but she never showed up. ABC's Mona Kosar Abdi has the latest. Good morning, Mona. Good morning, Eva. Police are expressing serious concern about this case. Brown has been missing for days now, and her family says it's unusual for her not to be in constant communication with them and that she would never leave her son behind. Overnight, a Pennsylvania community desperate for answers amid the search for a missing mom who vanished without a trace. We just really want to bring her home safely. She's a mother, a hardworking mother, and if not for anything, we just want to bring her home to her kids. Officials say 43-year-old Jennifer Brown was supposed to pick up her 8-year-old son from the bus stop Wednesday, but never showed. There's no way that she would leave him behind or like not be home for him. It's just, it's honestly completely out of character. Her car later found parked outside of her home with her keys, wallet and work cell phone inside. Brown's personal cell phone is still missing and police say it hasn't been communicating since Wednesday morning. Friend and family spokesperson Tiffany Barron says that's unusual for Jennifer. Anyone who knows her knows she's always gonna be available on her phone, whether via, you know, text or call. According to police, she was last seen on the afternoon of January 3rd by a friend and business associate. In a statement, the district attorney saying, quote, law enforcement is very concerned about the welfare of this mother, Jennifer Brown. To have something like that happen a few houses away is a shock. Jennifer's family, friends and community hoping for her safe return. Jennifer, please, if you see us or you hear us, please come home, please. It doesn't matter where you are or what's happening. If somebody has you, please do everything you can. To please try and get away from them. Just come home safely. And Brown's disappearance has left her community on edge. Her family is offering a $10,000 reward for any information. Guys. Thanks, Mona. And for now, let's bring in ABC News contributor and former FBI agent Brad Garrett. Thanks so much for being with us. So let's start with what kinds of things will police be searching on in this search? So you know, the real key here, Eva, is the immediate background of Ms. Brown. In other words, is there been any change in behavior? Has she started becoming depressed? Uh, what is her relationship with her child's father? What is their custody relationship? Who was actually supposed to be with the child Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning? But, you know, this case is troubling from this standpoint that you've already pointed out, that the keys, her work phone, and her purse were inside her car. That would certainly suggest that maybe something happened to her as she was about to leave. So where does that take you? I, I, I go back to this circle of, ex-husbands, current husbands, boyfriends, uh, former boyfriends, somebody that maybe be somewhat obsessed with her, upset that they're not together, whatever it might be. Now the question is, how do you answer all those questions? Her cell phone activity, both I would look at work and personal cell phone, would give you at least who she's been talking to in the, the days before she disappeared. That's going to be a real key. If the police, maybe with the FBI's help, have the ability to pull active cell phones in or around her house, let's say the afternoon, the evening of, of Tuesday into Wednesday, that could give you some possible leads. How significant is it that she failed to pick up her son? I, I think that's a big deal, obviously. If you add this sort of mystery around things in the car, that should have been with her and only her personal cell phone is, is missing. I mean, I can see why the police would be concerned in this particular case that she well could be in harm's way. And you talked about the things that she left in the car. Her personal phone was not in the car. We have been told that it's been silent since Wednesday morning. What does that tell us? Well, if in fact something has happened to her then the person probably has her cell phone and they know to shut it off. Uh, and so that sort of adds to a big, big concern that the, the welfare of this woman could really be in jeopardy. Now, I suppose an offshoot with that could be if you have some sort of mental health crisis and she just disappeared. But I'm not sure I go with that at this point based on, again, what was left in the car. Brad Garrett, thank you so much for your insight. Always good to have you. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.